Name the best software ever made? It's Blender! That's the theme song for now. Ovi the artist here and today we are going to make another YouTuber. Perhaps you guess it from the title or thumbnail, whatever that is. He only has a few subscribers, around three and a half. He also uploads once a year, but each video is a treat. A treat with lemonade. Not a sponsor video, to be honest, says lemonade. He's yellow and fat, or squashed. He has two eyes and a mouth as any other lemon. You guess it. It's the gaming lemon. Actually, you couldn't guess the name, cause he has, again, very few subscribers. Hopefully, I will quadruple million his number of subs. Again, we are going to use the classic, the free step of modeling, which are research, analyze and do the things. The hardest part is the thing, of course. For the research, once again, I could not find a whole image of his body. This is interesting, cause the same happened with the previous tutorial of Oliver age 24. Fun fact, Oliver made a tutorial of how to draw the gaming lemon, tutorial that I can say I fully mastered. No worries, I will not repeat what he already said, because we could not find a full image of his body, again we have to use our imagination. Hmm, what body does a yellow lemon has? After some intensive research, I successfully ended up my thesis relating to a lemon's body, but not successfully enough to have a definite, undebatable result. More than a half were lemonade images, and the rest were lemon pies. Yuck. I start to think that this channel is more about imagination than actually modeling, having to do in each video the same thing, using our imagination. I think I should change the name of my channel to Uniquely Create Ovi the Artist. I will also request that a PhD student from MIT should do a thesis about the missing parts of the YouTube personalities. Hopefully, this will not happen again for the next tutorial. Hopefully, but in any case, the student should do the research. The gaming lemon has a face of a, uh, hmm, quite unexpected, half squashed yellow lemon, on the way of becoming lemonade. This was the last picture that was taken of the lemon being alive. You can see that in his eyes being small, shadowy, dark black. Lastly, the smile is not one of happiness, combined with his eyes. It's a smile of amazement with fear, of seeing something unexpected, like an artistic piece of art, or a blender ready to squash the lemon into lemonades. Fortunately for the lemon's family, we are going to use a special type of blender, which creates and now destroys lemons. Its name is Blender, the only blender that is fruits and vegetables friendly, as I am family friendly. I love it. And let's get started in Blender. Now I will show you a special technique that's used to... Hmm. First we need to activate and save it. Nice. Now we can import a plane with a texture on it. But first we need to find... Oh, it's the last one. Now we need to find the image, which is that one. Now, yes, I know it's that one. And now we have that image on the plane. And now I need to find a perspective in order to see it. Now this is orthographic, top orthographic. And I'm still, now I'm not into orthographic anymore. 
Perhaps I need to rotate it in order to see it. I need to limit the rotation to one axis so that I don't rotate x, y, and z. And I type 90 to have uh, really 90 degrees. No, that wasn't a good idea. Now, this is good. But there is still no image. Perhaps there is something wrong. Alright, that rotation didn't do anything. Perhaps I am missing something in here. Background image, nope. Wait, I can use a background image. And I select the image, and that's it! Ah, nope. You can see the image only in pers orthographic. That's it. And then I delete the plane. Now that we have a reference, we can do that easier. The image that I have is edited by myself in GIMP. Looks pretty realistic. Now we do the lemon head. The squeezed lemon head. Looks very nice. Now we open the X-ray in order to see the reference way better. Oh, looks nicer now. Now it's time to make the gaming lemon's ears. We select the faces. Now we have selected the face option and now we select the faces and we will need to... No, not like that. If we have selected O, on the keyboard, O comes from... Hmm, what does O comes from? We need to extrude the gaming lemon's ears. And not like that. Now we have O opened. Yes, extrude and scale it down. Hmm, perhaps longer and smaller. Let's check the reference. And now I will show you a special technique that is called mirroring. We select half of the object and then we press X and delete faces. Now we have only half of the head. Why are we doing this? Good question. We add a modifier called mirror. But first I need to find it. Here it is. And then we select the axis, which is Y, not X. Z, it doesn't do anything. It's I. And then we apply it. Now we have the other ear. Very nice. Now we can add the green lemon color to the face. Which is something like this. Nope, this is very, very bad. More like yes, 
yellowishly, not greenishly, something like this. Hmm, close enough. We add another plane in order to make his eyes. We make the cube round as an eye and then we scale it to be an eye size. And now we place it on the face. We zoom in to place the eye on the face. Hmm, like that. That's 100 accuracy. Good thing I have trained my accuracy in Quake 2 and Quake 3. And also in Counter Strike Global Operation. I am uh -huh, Silver 2. Now we add a color, the black eye color. And once again, we place the eye on the eye location, which is right there. And then we duplicate the existing eye and we move it on the second eye location. Ha! Now Gaming Lemon can see how to play video games. We select them both using shift and then we move them on the face. Hmm, not too much in and not too much out. Just, just there. Hmm, there is something missing to his face. Perhaps is... Yes. It's the mouth. We add another cube. And we don't like the cube. We need to make it square. Not square. I am so sorry. Sphere. But his mouth is not a sphere. It's a sphere. It's a customized sphere. And now we need to make that custom sphere. We select the faces and we need to change their rotation. We select them again because I made a mistake. And perhaps we need to scale it. No, that was a very bad idea. We use the Ctrl Z. Hmm, we select them and perhaps move them in. Now we can select the dots. Perhaps the lines. And now we can move the lines. But it still is not a good idea. We select the lines and we move them, but it's not working. We select the faces again. And we rotate and there's still a mistake. The problem is we only move one part of the faces and not the other part of the faces. What I am saying, what I am saying is that a sphere has two parts. 
of faces. Now we make it longer. Mm -hmm. It's starting to have a shape as gaming lemon's mouth. Using C, we can select the faces that are underneath the faces, just like that. We rotate and move the end part of his mouth. Mm, a little more rotation is needed. Now we select the lines and we see which selects the lines that are beneath the lines and we move them. Mm, yes. Now we select the dots which selects also the line the dots between the other dots which is what we want we move them to make it looks like a round line Now I try to understand how round the line is. We cannot move it when we try to select it, only when we are not trying to select it. So we need to press escape each time we want to move it. When we have selected it with C. Starks to looks hmm, really good. Hmm, perhaps we can modify it to look more like a sphere line. The Gaming Lemon is one of the greatest and funniest YouTubers that play video games on the internet. He usually plays all mm, the biggest game like GTA 5 or Mafia 3, which is a very great disappointment. Also, GTA 5 is a very, but not as much as Mafia 3. But it's still a disappointment. He also plays Just Cause 3, which is a very, very good game. And he also played Just Cause 2, which is, once again, hmm, a very good game. And now we are making the other line more like a circle, the same way we did the other one above. We move that dot over there and then we need to move the dot above it, just slide it inside the circle. Mm -hmm. That's roundish enough, yes and yes, and once again yes, yes, yes and yes, yes, yes. Looks very good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now I will select the lines 
and add faces by pressing F. We select the lines and we press F and there it is, a face. We do the same thing with the other lines, F, another face. Now we have two faces. Once again here, we are doing this in order to hmm, not have an um, open object. We need to have a closed object because mouth is closed. We will use this object to cut from the sphere, from the head, a mouth. So this is not the actual mouth, but it's a shape of a mouth. Right now it's time to cut from the head. We need to scale it just, just to be the mouth size. And then we place it on the mouth. Mm, little more scaling. And then a little bit of rotation. A movement. A scale. And perhaps a little more change on that part. We select it and we move it. Rotate it and move it again. Once rotation and yes. Once again another movement. No, this is not. We need to select more dots. No, it's still not good. We need to select the more dots. Rotation. Movement. Mm, just, just like that. And now we have a mouth in the mouth location, but it's still not good. Two positions are good, but the third one is not. The mouth is still not in the face. Now it is. Next step is to cut the mouth from the head. Select the head and add a modifier, which is called boolean. We need to change the option to difference and select the object and apply. I didn't press apply, but now I did. And there it is, the mouth. I need to put a mouth more inside the head. To be more deep in the mouth, mm, just like that. Ha! Huh. Something is still missing. We need to color it. Mouthlessly red. In edit mode, we select the faces.
be careful to select only the inside of the mouth and not the outside on the face. You deselect that one by pressing left click on it. And with that and with that, now we have only the mouth selected. Now we will add another color. Firstly, we need to save the faces. In order, we need to change the color or we need to select them again. We rename them so that we know what we are doing. And then we assign it. Very good. Now we add a color. Mouth literally red. We need another material. Call it mouth. Assign it and change it to mouth literally red. How does it look like? Hmm. Looks really, really nice. And now we will add the teeth. It will be a cube once again. And once again we will need to make the line circle-like. We need to change the size of the square to be more long and less big, just like, just like a teeth, hmm, like that, but not too long, like now we added a cut, a very, very, very very much cuts on it so that you look like like a teeth you know we need to rotate them we need to rotate the the faces or to move their location a little bit down with the O selected just like that and now we move the other faces And now the last phase is mm, Perhaps it was too long Now we did the faces and the edges just like that. Now we have only what we use. But it seems that it also deleted the faces we used. Once again we select the edges and we press F to add a face. It's, it didn't work like it was supposed to. Face has been created. Hmm. Something go went wrong here. We select the lines and we press F to have a face once again in here.
Once again, this object is not the actual teeth, but it's actual teeth. I was joking. Ha. Huh. This object will be inside of the mouth because it is the teeth. We will not cut anything from it like the way we did with the mouth. We just put the teeth in the mouth and we are done. Now we add a whitishly color for the teeth, we scale it and then we place it in the mouth. Just like that. Now it looks just like teeth, and we need to place it inside the mouth, but we also need to scale it. On that axis, just like that, and now inside the mouth. Very good. Looks nice. Perhaps a little bit longer. Not on that axis, yes, not on this, yes, on this axis. Yes, like this and placed up and just like that and then we name the objects that is the teeth, that is the head, and those are the eyes, which they sh should be connected with the head, because we are not going to rotate them, or change their location. In order to make three objects into one object, we use Ctrl J, or Join. I am trying to find the right shortcut. It's Ctrl J. We select the three objects and Ctrl J. Just, just in a minute, I will do it. Just give me a second. And finally, Ctrl J. We also need the, this is optional, but we will change the location, the, the, how it is called, hmm. Now we rename it again. And we also need to place the teeth inside the head, inside of the object, in the scene manager. What, this, I, no? What what is this? What what what? Okay, okay. What is whoa? Okay, this I don't know how I did it. What just happened? Okay, just just ignore that. All right. Uh, is that one? All right. It's working. Yes. We need to delete that object. We don't need it anymore. Okay. As I was saying, we need to place the teeth inside of the head. So when the head moves, the teeth moves with it. And finally we are going to make the body. We will make the body from a cube. We will scale it to be mm, body shape. Now we will add some mm, cuts in order to make 
the cube more customizable. But firstly, we need to delete half of the cube in order to make hmm, to make a full body and not just half of the body. Now we need to add a mirror modifier. But firstly, oh, we need to find it. Oh, there it is. On the y-axis and click apply. We need to add another color. The color of the body. Also, we don't need to click apply. We apply the mirror constraint only when we are done with the body. We are not done with the body yet. Now we need to scale the body to make it mm, body shape. We will move the body mm, to be on the just just behind the head. Oh, just just like that. Now we will make the body a little bit longer, just like that. Mm. Very good. Now, once again, we need to add cut loops using Ctrl R. A cut loop is a line that's in the half of a face. If you rotate the mouse button, you will have many cuts. And you can rotate on the other way to have less mouse cuts. And then click to have the cuts on the object. Just like that. Now we need to select the faces and to move them on the shoulder shape of the body. Just just like that. And now we're going to rotate it just a little bit to have a 3D effect of the muscles. Because gaming lemonade has a lot a lot, a lot of muscles for playing video games. I know not many gamers have lots of muscles, but the gaming lemonade has a lot. How do I know that? Well, I don't. I just assume. But from the image that I have on the background, Gaming Lemon is definitely fit for a fight in GTA 5 or Mafia 3 or even just cause. Now once again we need to position the muscle right right on the background image for a 3D muscle effect. Mm, just just like that. Now we need to change the mm, the dot. Just like that. There is the place where the hand should be. Not actually be, but where the hand should start. Alright, we also need to make his pectorals just like that. And also the start of the hand. Mm, just like that, near the arm beat. And that one right on the pectorals. Ha! Ah. If you don't know what kind, what parts of the body you are making, then you should learn some biology or even anatomy. Mm, anatomy is hard. Believe me, I've been to high school. 
All right, now we need to make his belly shape just like that. Not very round and not very straight, just belly like. We also need to make it a little bit more realistic shape of the part of the body where the feet should start. Alright, looks pretty nice, just like a body, but not any body, a muscular body. Mm. It looks pretty impressive. Now we will change perspective in order to see what have we done. The next thing we need to add his hands. Gaming Lemon is using hands in order to play video games. There is where the arm should start. We select the face and then we press E to extract another face. Just like that. And we also need to move it a little bit down. Alright. The hand is round. That means that we need more faces. We will do the hand in straight, not as it sits in the image, because it's way easier to make it in straight line and not in down. So we will not use the reference now, but we will use it as a model. There is the place where the biceps should be. We will need to change the position of that line in order to make the arm look more arm Englishly. Or perhaps armingly. Whatever you want to call it. Either way, it's correct to call it. Believe me, I know English. I do have a big dictionary where I read words from. Hmm. Just, just, I didn't quite figure it out how to move that line a little bit up to make it. Oh, that's what I was. No, it's not. How do I still move the line beneath that line together? Alright then. Let's let's just forget about that for now and let's extract the hand, the arm, the forearm. All right, just a little bit more, and then we will scale it down in order to have a more handishly shape. We also need to move it to be in a straight line and perhaps scale it. Hmm. It looks like a very hand. Now we will start to make the palm. We will extrude and scale it just like that. Hmm, perhaps yes and now we will extrude the palm. Alright. And now we will do the fingers. Perhaps Gaming Lemon has, hmm, as a normal human being, on average, has hmm, five fingers. Actually, their number is not five, it's four dot nine dot very other, many, many, many other numbers, which I don't know. I didn't look at the other results of the numbering, of the counting of the 
fingers, but I assume the number is five. Now we will make the palm more slim, because Gaming Lemon has to put his hands on the keyboard and also to use the mouse. Mm, yes, looks more palmishly than before. Now we need to add the fingers. We will not use Ctrl R to add the fingers, but we will use another shortcut, which is K. K means to cut, or perhaps it means something else, I don't know. We put a dot and then another dot and we press enter and voila, we have a face. We are going to do that once again to add another finger. And voila, there is the second finger. Click and click and enter. Voila, the third finger is on the hand and we also need to change the location of that because the fourth finger will be too big that will make the gaming lemon hand impossible to play video game hmm that look pretty realistic I love it as McDonald's will say Ah, I'm loving it. That's what McDonald's would say. Now we need to select that part of the palm and add the fifth finger, which is the smallest but the most fetishly finger on his palm. Just like, just like that. <laughs> oh yes, it looks like the gaming lemon approves of these hands. Now we will select the. No, we will not do that. We will select individual face and then we will extrude it to have a more fingerishly shape. And then we will scale it to make it more small. Remember, the finger in the middle is the longest and the one. On the bottom is the smallest finger. That's a fact. I am not sure why the finger don't have the same width, but perhaps the reason is not known. Please scientists, go and research why the fingers have different sizes. I don't know. And I am sure that nobody knows. Please, scientists, go to work. Find out what is going on. Now I will try to make the palm more... Ah, realistic. Ah, well, now it not, doesn't look so straight as before. I am very proud of this body and also face now I will try to move the lines to make it more hmm. oh no I have made a mistake the hand is too long compared with the body I select every face and then I scale it down, but not like that, the palm looks very, very, very bad. I will select that face and that one and then scale it. Ah. 
I had made the hand bigger than the body because I don't have a reference like that. I do have a reference, but the position of the hand is different from what I have done. Usually, when somebody models a person, they will make the person in the shape of a T. Uh, why? What is a shape of a T? The shape of a T is the shape of a T. Now I'm trying to put a hand near the reference in order to see how big is the hand. And yes, the hand is very big. I should change its size to a smaller version. Back to the T pose. A T pose is a human staying with his arms just like that. So that's what a T pose is. Is a position of the hands. Pretty impressive, I know. I am teaching so many, so many things. You would not know this unless you would work in this 3D modeling profession. In the world of 3D modeling or even the movie making. As we like to say, uh, us, the, the movie maker and 3D modelers, the T-shape. Or how I like to call it, the please, what is going on, but I will, I will still call it the T-pose. Now I'm still sizing the head to a more realistic size, because the gaming lemon is using mostly that part of a body. I am sure of that, because he is, after all, a gamer, but not any gamer, a very, 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 very bad YouTuber who plays video games. Perhaps the hands are the most important part of the body, because after all, we use the hands to eat. And now, the time has come to make the feet. The feet are quite simple, we select the bottom faces and we merge them together using the shortcut F. F is for the face. And now that we have only one face, we will extrude the face. No, that's not a good idea. Just move it a little bit down just like that. Add another loop cut using Ctrl R. You select the dot and move it a little bit outside to make the body not so straight. Ah, looks pretty nice. Now you can see a lot of his muscle on his tummy. I hope the real gaming lemon has six pack ABS. ABS is... I have no idea, but I hope he does have that. 
and we will extrude the feet, the upper part of these feet. Scale it down a little bit moving. Just, just like that. We usually don't need to loop cuts like that. But hey, I think I am not doing anything wrong by doing it like that. As you can see, he has a lot of muscle on his feet. That's pretty impressive. Well done, Gaming Lemon, well done. And now we extrude the last part of his feet. Hmm, the body looks pretty nice. Now we will look around the body in order to see if you made any mistakes. No, it doesn't look like we have any mistakes. The body is hmm, close enough to be a realistic one. No one will say that this is not a realistic 3D body of a real person. We even have the muscles in the hand and on the feet. Perhaps we also need to move that dot a little bit inside to not have a, that sharp shape of the body. That looks pretty good. Now we will select those faces that are his pants. Because obviously the gaming lemon is not naked when he goes on the beach. How do I know that he's going on the beach? Well, I don't, but I assume. Actually, that's... That's where I saw this image from a beach man walking result on Google. We select that those faces and we put create another material to them. Just just like that. And we also save those faces in order we need to select them again. We also need to make those faces a little bit bigger. Why we need to do that? In order to make the pants not to look like they are the body. Because the pants are not a part of the body. The pants are something we put ourselves on our body in order to cover in order to look better. That's the usefulness of the pants or of any clothes. That's a fact. So we need to have the pants look like they are not the body. So we need to extrude them a little bit outside. Just just like that. You also need to extrude the back and later on the sides. And we can also merge those faces together using the F. Just, just like that. And extrude them. Very, very nice. Hmm, this looks very, very nice. It looks like me when I go on the beach. 
perhaps not so much and now we will do the feet we select the faces and we add a cut look why do we need to do that mm -hmm. don't ask me just learn biology specifically anatomy we select actually we need to move those lines a little bit down from the side to have a hmm realistic feet because a feet is straight not like that now we move it again using the x-ray because using the x-ray is way easier x-ray also selects what's behind the current selection that's very useful now we will select the faces and merge them together using the special feature of F but first we need to extrude the feet <laughs> just like just like that. Perhaps the gaming lemon has also five fingers on his feet. That is not a fact. Once again, scientists go and count how many fingers does a normal human being has. We will merge those faces together to have five fingers only on his feet and not six as it was before. We scale those faces and once again we will scale them to be more realistic. We will move that feet a little bit down, just just like that, and then we will extrude the fingers, scale them and move it down. Once again for the third finger. Huh. And now it's time for the no for the pinky. The smallest finger which should be the smallest finger the middle one which should be the longest one and the fourth actually fifth finger for some reason I jumped from the second one to the fifth one for no actually reason I will select the faces and merge them together in order to have less faces why do we need less faces? because a computer is slow it is lazy it doesn't want to handle ma many faces he just likes to handle very, very few faces. And so we will help the computer handle less faces. We will also merge the faces of his pants, but first we need to add a little bit of a jump on his pants, so not to not to be so straight. We will select that line and, and just move it a little bit outside, just just like that. Mm -hmm. The pants look now more realistic than ever they have been before. And we will do to the back the same. The gaming lemon is definitely very, very amazed of how is this even possible? How can someone model? myself even they don't know 
how I look like. Don't worry, Gaming Lemon. I am an expert in anatomy and also biology and also in physics. But the physics don't have any connection to this model. So let's forget about physics for a minute. Now we will do his pectorals. We will need firstly to make a shape of the pectorals. But I seem we firstly need to move. Nope, we are not moving. We need to move only the first part of the lines and not the lines behind those actual lines and move it just like on the reference and rotate them just just like that so now we will create the pectoral shape on his body we will move them a little bit high no, we had, did not move what we had. We need to move that one a little bit higher. Hmm, just, just like that. By the way, the gaming lemon is a man, so he has the boobs, but he has man boobs. Man boobs are not sexual. I hope I will get YouTube money out of this video. Please don't censor ship this video. This is not a pornographic video. And now that we have his patrol, we will select those faces and extrude it a little bit and scale it down well done now he has more muscles than ever before But we had a mistake, we need to make those pectorals in other shape that we had made. So I have used some Ctrl Z in order to go back. Alright, just like that. Nope. I then and here we move the body. We will try to have another take on these pectorals. I will make his pectorals a little bit bigger so that he will have a lot more muscles than before. Why do I need to do that? In order to make it more realistic and hopefully he will be more muscular so he will have a more muscular shape more muscle more handsome more girls to have on the beach we will select those faces and extrude it again and and also scale it down just just like that. Yes, it looks better. Hmm. Very, very good. Now we will also make his six back. Because he is also very shaped. He also does a lot of exercise. 
because he usually goes on the beach. Those APS are way too worked for a human being. They should be less, smaller, just, just like that. So there are two, four, six muscles on his tummy. Very, very good. This is a very, very good. This is a very worked body. For a gamer, actually for any human being, Arnold Schwarzenegger would be, <laughs> would be glad to have a body like this. And I am sure that any of you would like to have this body. I will not. I don't dislike this body, but I won't have I wouldn't want to have this body, because my body is way better. I am more muscular than this body. <laughs> yes, yes. Hmm, now we need to add... Lemon's neck. Because he definitely has a neck. There is no connection with his head and his body right now. We need to put the teeth on the head so that when we move the head, the teeth follow. Because the head and the body are two objects, we need to select them and merge them together. Using Ctrl J. But firstly we will delete those faces to have a place for the neck and also those faces to have a neck space we will move the head a little bit down just just like that everything seemed nice now because they are different object we cannot merge them together but once we merge them together we can add connection between them finally we add the modifier to his body so now we can edit the whole body if we want to but we are not going to do that we also put the teeth on his face where they were supposed to be hmm, just like that and also move them again on his body and now we have one object the head and his body we select the lines from his body and from his neck and create a face using the F word not the F word but the F letter on the keyboard that's a different thing than the F word and there we have a face <laughs> his neck is starting to grow hmm this workout for the neck is really working keep it up the gaming lemon It's almost done. Huh. That's a very muscular neck. Not the same as muscular as mine, but hmm, that's pretty muscular. And here we have Gaming Lemon with his impressive neck. Hey, that's pretty impressive. And here we have it, folks. Gaming Lemon, Human Being, 3D Modeling, with his body, head, his pants, and there we have it. Now we will need to delete the background image 
or enable it just like that hmm. very good and now we need to place the camera to face gaming's lemon we can move the camera when it is selected and now by pressing r which is rotate or g which is grab it should be m for the move but it's not, it's G for the grab. You will add a plane so that the gaming lemon is not flying. He's definitely staying on the earth or whatever planet he wants to be. Hopefully not Mars, because there are Martians over there. And from what I heard, right now, Mars. Mars is very, very much danger. Hopefully, Sparks Nevada will save Mars. But I don't know that one yet. I didn't get to the saving of the Mars episode. I am on the episode which the Mars is on danger. Now back to our modeling. We move our camera to face our object, which is the gaming lemon. We add a color to our plane, hmm, which should be realistic green for the color of the sand. Why is the sand green? I don't know. But why is not the sand green? That plane above him will emit light. We need to be in cycles in order for the plane to emit light. And now, once again, I need to find how to emit light. Every time I'm using this feature, I forget how to do it, but it's pretty simple. Each time I find how to do it, but I find it hard when I am not finding it. Huh, that's uh, real life. It should be emission. And I finally find it, how to make a plane emit light. On the material, you select the surface and change from diffuse to emission. And then we can change the color, the color of the sun. Because this plane behaves like a sun. And now we can render the image. But everything has the same color, there is a problem. Everything was orange because the camera was not placed to see the object. In order to do that, we select the camera and we move it below the plane so that we can see the object just just like that and move it and place it mm -hmm -hmm. just just like that to focus and then we render it again the render was not full hd we forgot to change the resolution now it's 100 percent we can change it on the render and now we render it again this time it will be full hd 100 percent and here we have our final render with the gaming lemon on the beach the sand is green as in real life gaming lemon is very happy because he is on a vacation on the beach. Hmm. Alright then, 
This is all the tutorial for today. See you next week. Bye.